for the Panthers. Here's the Duke lineup, of course. You've got, we told you, Jeremy Roach and then Filipowski and Mitchell inside, and Filipowski taps back home his own miss with Corey Alexander, the Hall of Fame head coach, Jim Beheim, West Durham. Carrington to pull up. Spins out. Federico resets for Pitt. Here's Henson from the logo. Here's Jalen Lowe in the corner. Carrington three. Federico the rebound from behind Young. Here's Austin in traffic. Had it wedged from behind on the block. And Duke in transition. And McCain launches and hits. The Blue Devils have hit three threes for three more. And of course, McCain got to get it. And there's nothing, nothing worse than you get a wide open three and miss it. And they go down and make a wide open three. Federico. Underneath the basket feeds Austin for the dunk. Austin finishing that one off with two hands. Got it blocked on a previous possession, recognizing got to go stronger in the paint when you're playing against the Blue Devils. Ryan Young, an undervalued shot blocker. Here's Young backing in on Federico and scores. Allow him to walk down, get a little closer, and then take advantage of his size against Rose on the block. Filipowski against Diaz Graham. That's a tough guard there, coach. But if that's where Foster trying to get baseline on low, found it through traffic. Filipowski's three. Nine for flip here in the first half, his 14th triple of the year. Had ALS. It was actually through a text. Jeff watched me post a, uh, a post with an ALS walk. And so he reached out to me and asked me what information. I knew about it. I didn't know much other than the fact that, of course, Boston College Sports Information Director Dick Kelly passed from ALS, and that's what kind of taught me about the disease at first. Federico, Federico finishes on the nice catch and score inside. Foster answered Henson's three with another one for Duke. Blue Devils still attacking from behind the line. Five of their 11 field goals are triples. And you see the zone defensively for Pitt, so you got to make sure you identify the shooters. Pitt's got to find a combination of hitting shots and stops here in the final five minutes. Henson, fall away three. Got it. Nine for Blake Henson. Making them drivers, and they're having trouble doing that. Filipowski out of the corner. McCain. Uh, when you're as deep as Duke, you can have a guy, Mitchell, comes off two career highs, and now he just hasn't really got anything tonight. But that guy is coming off a couple bad games. Carrington tried to get it to Federico. Couldn't handle it. Here's Proctor with the Duke. Turnover from Pitt, a pull-up three. And the follow is good. That's Jared McCain. Now you're a Bills fan, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, got the, you're part of the Mafia. Went to their practices this year. There you go. Under the, the Filipowski a deep three. What a half for Filipowski. They didn't give him an easy shot. Roach had seven points, but also four first-half assists. Filipowski a soft fall away. I don't know if we see him switch on pick and rolls. I believe Kyle Filipowski is actually going to be a very good NBA player. I think all those attributes allow him to be very good at that level. You coach more NBA players than me. What do you think? <laughs> I only coach the very best NBA players, so I'm not a good, you know, a real good judge of that. Coach, it's hard to survive off of individual plays like that when you have to go and make a tough shot. Yeah, the switching is just taking them out of their deep, out of their offensive game, and they're just having to go at guys. And as a player alongside the great Dave Bing, did, how much pleasure did you take as a player going and winning road games? It's, I mean, it's huge. It's good, you think, but when they're just layups, it's not really that good. So, you know. February 2014. We're coming up on the 10th anniversary of that. It was right there, right there. Yeah. From, hey, there we go. They don't get beat a lot on the, from the perimeter. Their perimeter defense is pretty good. But, no, I, I think they'll be fine. There's Guillermo Diaz Graham knocking down a three. And, you know, Pitt couldn't hit anything, mainly because of the defense that Duke played. Austin scoring there. Zach Austin, a transfer from High Point, originally from Winston-Salem. Here is Carrington with 15 to shoot. One of the interesting pieces about this, and there's a runner and the score by Bub. Panthers 81-73 in late December. Another quick two-game spin in the conference schedule. That's a block by Austin who can also get off the deck. 
And Stewart poked that away from low and saved it to Proctor. I like what John Shire is doing right now with Proctor and Foster on the floor together. These are the two guys as Powell was able to step back and knock down a three, and we know he can score a elite score. But you see Proctor and Foster, these are the two guys that John Shire made it clear to us. We need more from both those guys. Yeah. They're getting consistent efforts right now from Roach and McCain, but the four-guard lineup, five if you include Blakes in that bunch, he knows he's going to get from those guys. He needs these two guys to step it up. We still love you yeah. in Syracuse, especially yeah, my wife. Well, I was getting ready to say, let's get down to who the, who his favorite Bayheim is. By far. <laughs> 75 to 53 is the final. And uh, John Shire picks up his 12th win of the year, his third in the ACC, headed home to meet Georgia Tech on Saturday.